viral loop, uh, interact vision via the uh, Atlas book viral loop that uh, most social networks use, where you register and check the Atlas book to see which of your contacts are already on the site, and you have an opportunity to connect to those people with friend requests, as well as invite people who are not yet on the site to join you. And um, you know, if you optimize that loop well enough such that one user generates more than one user, then you get exponential growth and, and your user base compounds like like uh, interest in bank accounts. Um, <clears throat> I think you know that that sort of short statement, and we can talk more about it if you, if you have more questions. Um, I did want to make one point um, that that Anu started touching on, um, and all, all, by the way, all, all I'm doing today is a paraphrasing Jeremy Blue's blog. So, <laughs> so I, uh, I sort of I, 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 I crammed on it yesterday, so I got something smart to say. Um, but <clears throat> you know, th this panel is on user acquisition, and almost all we've talked about is virality, right? Like, there are lots and lots of other types of user acquisition besides virality. So clearly, there are there, there are other free types of acquisitions of virals for free. You know, free has no 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 cost of actually buying ads, although there's a lot of work to pay, pay people to, to do the tuning. There's there's word of mouth. There is you know, cross promoting from your existing users, and there is SEO, search engine optimization. All that stuff is quote unquote free. Now, if your lifetime value of your customer is high enough that you can actually support paying money to acquire users, then by all means you should do that. Okay, so whether that's buying ads on on like Rocky's network or you know self serve MySpace Facebook ads or um, or you know, how, you know, maybe like buy buy TV ad if, if you can actually justify the spend. Um, you know, there, in, in Silicon Valley, there was this, you know, almost a religion around you know viral at all costs. You know, spend zero dollars on marketing. And if you look at some of the biggest players in the space now, Zynga, Plate, and Etcetera, they're both viral and they spend a lot of money, and that's what allows them to be really big. And that gets back to engagement, which was the question that you had for me, which is you have to have an engaging app where the LTV of the user actually justifies this kind of sustained user acquisition. And you see to retention. So we go from acquisition to retention, and to engagement to monetization. So for retention, outside of obviously making something that rocks, what else do you do with your existing user base to encourage them to come back? Anybody? The way we look at uh, retention is we've, we've laid out a grid of various user mechanics, whether it be leveling up, or whether it be randomized gifting, or um, any, you know, just go to any blogs and you can get all the, the list of these various mechanics. And each of them has a curiosity to them. And what you want to do is you want to line them up so that the curiosities are actually set. So that the user is getting some sort of retention event more regularly, but that those retention events are different. So there's a novelty to those events whenever they come up. And then you and then you essentially keep those going as long as you can. You keep stacking up different types of game mechanics, whether it's sort of, you know, uh, so a what are some examples from your games? So you know we have a we have a leveling system um, now where you know every time you get a new level you get you know new powers, uh, which is obviously the basic one. And then you've got um, other ones where there's awards where other people will give you an award. Um, you've got um, Got treasure chests which come up after a certain amount of time of play that give you a randomized gift that you can then use in the gameplay. Um, these are all you know, basic mechanics, but by stacking them and making their curiosities different, you're, every few minutes they're getting some sort of reinforcement to what they're doing, yet they don't get bored with that reinforcement. So if all you have is leveling, um, it's going to their excitement at getting to the next level will diminish each level they get to often. Well, they also retention. Any secrets to retention? Well, I mean, retention, well, I'm answering the question of retention not necessarily directly tied to uh, monetization of individual users, but um, looking at specifically just from at least a channel perspective, the distinction, for instance, between Facebook and MySpace uh, is that retention, obviously, on Facebook is a lot easier. Right, uh, a couple of interesting things that most people probably already know is that, for instance, on Facebook, users never uninstall the application. Right, that's a big deal. Right, which means that, you know, if you acquired a million users in X period of time and then none of them ever came back, you could actually, if you, you know, you actually have the opportunity to go back and re-engage them at a later time. Right? this is, I mean, it's not any different from like in previous 
days where you actually have people registering and their email addresses, but in the social networks, obviously, you don't have that kind of direct 